action underway, 132 pounds in the red. We've yep. got Sergio Vega taking on Bo Bassett, and Bassett already in on a shot. F fires a leg attack off here. Vega, try he tried to pick that angle there momentarily, no score yet. Bassett might catch a cradle here if, if Vega's not careful. There's a takedown. He's hunting that cradle. Won't get it, but he'll get the takedown. He'll clear his leg free, and now he'll get to work on top. This was the marquee weight class of the tournament. We had number one, Ben Devino, number two, Kyler Larkin, number three, Bo Bassett, and Bassett, the only one of the three to make the finals. He took out Larkin in the semi, but it was number five, Sergio Vega, knocking off Ben Devino. I think Devino's first high school loss in nearly two years. I didn't even know that to that point, but you know, you talk about high school losses. We kind of talked, we alluded to it earlier before the broadcast. Bassett has yet to lose a folk style match. What, since Super 32 two years ago to Knox? I believe two years ago, and Harry is looking for a tilt on the edge. There's one swipe, there's two. He's at least gonna get two. And now we'll get out of bounds. He'll get two back points there. He'll go up five, nothing. Vega at a Sunnyside High School in Arizona. When it comes to Arizona wrestling, one of the marquee programs over the past 15, 20 years. Yeah, that's a few, our former home of Roman Bravo Young. On the women's wrestling side of things, Audrey Jimenez, current yep. star. Bo Bassett on Bishop McCourt, teammates with Jax Forrest, and someone we'll see in a little, a little later in these finals, Melvin Miller. Yeah, absolutely. Two very good high school programs represented here. Bassett putting a lot of pressure forward. And he's looking to, to use his head lever. Might look to go bar here. And right as I say that, he hooks one up. Short time here in this first period. He'll clear one leg. He'll go to the next. He's got the wrist, too. Short time here. He may not get back points here, but he'll for sure be able to inflict some punishment down there. And we'll end the first period, five nothing the lead in favor of Bo Bassett. Here's that tilt from Bassett on the edge. You get a quick look at that as yep. uh, making their choices and choice is gonna be Bassett on bottom. Bassett will be on bottom start to first. He'll look to switch away, but Vega able to find a boot in. Bassett gonna keep tight to him, almost turn into a, a crackdown position. Vega's still on top to this point, no reversal called yet. Vega's still kind of threatening in there, and now Bassett in better position, he's gonna step over this leg. No reversal call yet. It, it's gotta be coming soon here, you would think. There's the waved off, one for the escape, and now Bassett nearly the, the split second that the one was given, fires off on a high C. Back into this crackdown position. Vega locked in the crotch, he's tough from here. Yep, but Bassett doing a great job putting Vega across both sides uh, uh, of his lower lower half, if you will. Again, in a crackdown position, you wanna be on one, not the other, because when you're on both, that's when a guy could double off super easy. There's the takedown, nine nothing now the advantage in favor of Bo Bassett. Looking for a tilt now is Bassett, and this time in the center of the mat. There's, There's the swipes. The... He'll get at least two. Vega looked to possibly reverse him here, but he won't get the reversal. Bassett able to circle his hips around, a swipe there. Bassett, maybe he's gonna try to kick his leg back. He almost leg half him here momentarily. Now at this point, Vega in. Dropping into an Iranian position here. Bassett looks to hook and roll him, not there. Bassett takes more risks than a lot of guys are comfortable with, but he also is able to make adjustments mid-match and even mid-position where taking a risk and even giving up points or a score, it's, it's, it's not something he's afraid of. It's for sure he's willing to, to give one to give you three. He's not scared to, to get into those wild exchanges, which I think is something that adds to why he's so high level, is that he's, he's not scared to get into wild flurries. And we'll start the third period on our feet. Bassett fires a fake off, but Vega takes on to a leg. Bassett now locked on this leg and he's working for a takedown of his own. It's already 11 to zero after just two periods. 
Bassett looked like, uh, I said it earlier to, to, to a couple people in the back, Bassett looks like a man possessed today. He wanted, he wants another Super 32 belt for the cupboard, and he's well on his way to be in good position to do just that this weekend. But Vega, not going quietly into the night here. He'll hook Bassett's bottom knee, and a potentially dangerous call, no takedown given. Minute 22 left. Bassett always gonna keep the pace high. Couple short right hands in the form of clubs given there by the pair of them when they first got back off the whistle. Vega fires another one off, but this, I'm right was about to say, Bassett does a great job here, just finding his hips down to the mat. Now he's gonna look to break Vega's lock here with, with his hip pressure. Ooh, we got a stalemate and a fresh start, just under a minute to go. Vega at this point has got to start firing whatever bullets he has in the chamber. Yeah, it's got to be a little discouraging if you're Vega because he's fired some of them and just haven't been working. Vega was really quick to that leg and now looks for a double. In that same type of position here, now he'll get a high crotch. No score yet. Momentarily had that second foot trapped. See, now look at that. He's got to the second foot here. He might be able to get himself on the board here late and a stalemate called with 18 to go. Last 10 to go here. By no means is Bassett running or giving up any space. He is standing in the center and willing to fight this one out. The clock will expire and Bo Bassett will get his second Super 32 belt. Two straight.